Hello everyone, it's Justine. Today I'm going to make an A2 sized card using the spring label motif die set. And I'm also using this embossing folder from Spellbinders that was from June 2022. So if they still have this on the website, I will link this in the description as well as the die set. So this die set is geared to spring since it's called spring label motif. And I have already gone ahead and put my card um, front on and I am going to just build up my little scene here. So I, to make these pieces, I'll just briefly talk about them. So to make this yellow piece, I used this one and the small insert, which one's small, this one, together to make this yellow piece. To make the cream piece, I used just the small motif and to make the purple, I used this one. And since I'm layering on the cream and yellow, I used this purple piece to cut out my bunny. This bunny. And I haven't decided what bunny I'm going to use yet. I don't know if I'm going to use the cream or the purple, so I cut out both just in case I change my mind. So to put on this, I'm going to use my liquid glue. This is Barely Art liquid glue. It's the one I use most of the time. And I like it because it has this little fine point on it and it dries clear. It's really my go-to glue at this point. So if you have not seen, they do have this one. This is the spring label motif, but they also have a summer, fall, winter, and holiday motif. So there's a total of five of them and they are all really beautiful and unique. There's also a stamp set that comes with the collection. So if you're interested in some sentiments that are seasonal, I would definitely recommend that one. It's pretty um, all inclusive there. I don't have that right now, but who knows, maybe I'll pick that up in the future. The ones that I do have right now are the spring, summer, and holiday. So I will be making a card with each of those. By the time this video comes out, I believe the summer one will be on my channel. And the holiday one will be coming probably within the next week. So if you're interested in seeing those, I would subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified when those are available. The nice thing about this um, label motif is that you could do a horizontal or vertical card and it would look really nice. Just want to make sure it was straight. I think I'm going to do a horizontal layout and I think I'm going to use this purple bunny. I think the cream bunny kind of gets lost in... Yeah, I'm going to just have the cream bunny for a different project, probably. All right. I'm going to build up my floral arrangement here and see where my bunny will end up going. But first, I'm going to put my greens down. This is typically what I do when I am working on like a little floral area. I start with the greens. The longer pieces first it's just kind of what I typically do and then I will pull in the leafy the small leaves if there are any and they're I think I have three different color leaves for this and then I will pull in the flowers that's kind of my process okay I'm gonna glue those down first I think that this would make a really sweet spring card or even a nice little Easter card. And you don't even have to use the bunny and it could make really any type of card because it's just the flowers at that point. So if you could put any sentiment on it, I think it would still be appropriate. Like a happy birthday, thank you, 
just because hello any of those would do so if you're not sure about getting you know spending too much money you could just not get the sentiments and get to the dies and use a sentiment that you already have in your stash because most people have a thank you birthday congratulations anything like that and if you do not I would recommend um, the small die of the month for August right now that is part of the monthly subscription so if you're interested in that I would I would get on it soon because it is full of small sentiments that people use all the time and I've made a couple cards with it and I I love it I will definitely be pulling for that in the future I love the font of it it's just it works for my my taste so um, if I remember I'll try to put a little couple pictures of some of the cards that I've made with that die set in the video um, if I don't let me know in the comments and I'll put it in but hopefully when I'm listening to this back later I will remember I don't know I find it really relaxing adding on die cut pieces like this and building little floral areas because it just kind of reminds me of flower arrangements and I think that that's kind of a fun thing to do. I don't do it very often at all but I love when flowers are arranged really nicely. All sorts of twigs. Plus I think that purple and green look nice together so this is just it's a me card although it does remind me a lot of my mom she loves purple and this is a purple card <laughs> you can really see that it's starting to kind of come together here especially with um, those big purple pieces now hiding where all of those greens come together it's just working And I really liked this flower so it has the, the two pieces here and then one in the center and it looks like a full flower I think that is so gorgeous so I'm just gonna kind of pop those in there I think I'm actually gonna put them on the long one here And I'm going to kind of tilt it because I don't want it to look too perfect because usually flowers are not perfect. There's sometimes little imperfections that happen and that's kind of the look I'm going for. Now the question is, do I put the other flower down here or up here? Hmm. I think I'm going to put it here. All right, now for these little pieces. I'm going to put this two green, they kind of remind me of frog hands. They're going to go on the ends of these flowers as kind of like the part of the bloom of the big flowers. And yes, I know that that does not match the green to the green, but I'm okay with that. Maybe it's a shadow and the light hitting it in a different way. And now all these little pieces are going to go on the tips of the rest of the flowers. And I could put them under and have that kind of the bulb of the green show kind of like this. So I'll do it in a different way so you can kind of see the difference. Oh, come on. Now 
would be a good time to have two reverse tweezers. Maybe I'll use my scissors here. Kind of lift up that green area. So you can put the flower under the green area and have it look like it's part of the bud, which is kind of the look I'm going for for the this color because it kind of looks like this flower, but a, a juvenile of that one. But don't have to. I'm going to put this one next to the big one since it's kind of like the parent flower. And these go on the other flowers, which I probably should have done before I glued on this one. So I'm just going to kind of sneak it under. So far this is so cute and I'm loving it. I think it's definitely giving me a spring feeling as well. So that's neat. Okay, now where is this little bunny gonna go? Is he gonna be kind of jumping out? I think so. He's gonna jump out. Now I'm gonna put a little piece of white paper behind, or maybe I'll do black. I think I'm gonna use white and I'm just gonna use this little scrap paper that I have and just give him a white eyeball by just gluing a little paper behind him. I guess he could have like a cream or a yellow eye, but I don't know. Just keep it light and bright. We'll use white. There. Oh, that looks good. Okay. I considered using this stamp set, which was the um, stamp of the month from March and saying something like happy spring but I don't think that this even needs a sentiment so I'm going to pass on that all right well I am going to add a couple of little blings because I think cards are always a little more fun when there's a little sparkle so let's see what I have here let's see if I can add something here I think I'm going to use these now they're part of the um, self-adhesive embellishments and this is the fashion taupe color so it's kind of like a, a dreamy antique cream color and I'm gonna put that all around the flowers and I love that they're already self-adhesive and I really do trust the Spellbinders embellishments to actually stick I don't feel like I need to add extra glue underneath them. Sometimes with other companies I do add a little extra glue because they've popped off on me before and it's kind of a shame when you have your card all finished, good to go, and you're pulling the card out to either you know give to someone so writing on it and it's missing a gem. <laughs> it's just kind of one of my pet peeves so I like that these are actually sticky and they stay put. Now this color is a new color, like I said. They came out with, let's see, this is the Fashion Taupe. There's also the Fashion Rouge, the Cosmic, which is gorgeous. I should pull this out and just have it on my desk because I will use it if I see it. and. How can I not? That is one of my favorite colors. Um, this Fashion Jet, which is black. I don't know why it's up in the corner, but it's just up up there. Spruce, which is perfect for Christmas cards, and this Poppy as well. So I've used a couple of those already, but definitely recommend those. Anyway, if you've liked this card, let me know by hitting the like button and subscribe to my channels for more videos in the future. I really hope that you've been inspired or learned something from my video today and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!